We're flying southwest today, so let's see how this goes. Oh, hi, Mac. Oh, let's go. Sweet. I'm the only one that goes through gate right when you get to the airport, just to make sure it's there, and then you go off and grab a drink or whatever. I don't know if that's just me. Just arrived in Austin, Texas, and I'm not exaggerating when I say Southwest was one of, if not the most unique airline I've ever flown with. Now, starting off with the boarding process, how does the Southwest Airlines boarding process work? So first off, you get a different group, either A, B, or C. And in addition, you also get a position. My exact group and position was B48. Now, as you can imagine, group A boards first, Group B boards second, group C boards third, and then after that, whoever wants to board can board. In addition, as you can probably guess, the higher up your position, the better you are. So A1, let's say being the best, for example, and the positions go from one to 60. So let's say C60 being the worst. So for me personally, being in B48, I was a little bit less than let's say halfway through the entire process of boarding. And as most people know, there's no assigned seating. You can sit wherever you want. And not surprisingly, the aisle seats and the window seats fill up first throughout the airline. And then of course the middle seats. When I boarded, I just went all the way to the back because I was talking to the flight attendant and she goes, oh yeah, if you want to sit in an aisle seat, which for me personally, I love the aisle seat. I love having extra legroom and being able to move around if I want to. It just makes things a lot easier. So I just went all the way to the back to snag an aisle seat really had no issue. There was a few of them in the back. I also have to say it was very smooth when it came to boarding. I wasn't sure if it'd be like a free for all, so to speak. What they do very similar to like say a lot of other airlines when they say, hey, group one, it can board now, group two, et cetera, et cetera. They'll say, hey, group A board, group A will board, then B, then C. In addition, we have noticed when it comes to the gate itself, there's actually different pillars for each position. I think they're grouped up by like five or something. So the pillar I was at was something like 45 to 50, something like that. So I kind of just stood in that little block, so to speak, in the line. And they initially call positions one through 30. And then you can imagine 31, then to 60. Another amazing thing was the prices. Now it only cost me 60 bucks, 60 bucks to fly from LA to Austin. In addition, my first checked bag was free. I didn't have to spend any extra money on top of that. In addition, as you saw from the footage, when I was just kind of looking at their drink menu out of curiosity, it was only $7 for a 1.5 ounce bottle. We call them nips, by the way, in the Northeast. It was only $7 for a nips. You're getting 1.5 ounces of liquor for only seven bucks. That is way cheaper than any bar in LA. And in addition, beers were typically about $7 as well. I think a Miller Lite was six though. And I remember looking at that being like, wow, this is, it's actually cheaper to get a drink on a Southwest plane than it is for almost 
every bar in LA, you cannot beat those prices. I mean, if anything, it's cheaper to drink on the plane than it is to drink at a bar before you get on the plane. And lastly, which I really loved a lot about Southwest that I didn't expect was the flight attendants. The flight attendants were amazing. They were making jokes the entire time and really making it like a fun environment overall. I've never really been on any airline that seemed like the airlines were really just kind of like messing around with everybody in a really fun and upbeat way. Definitely added to the whole experience. And I got to say overall, compared to a lot of other airlines that I have flown with, Southwest was pretty awesome.